Hello, I'm Doug Wilder of Wilder Business Success. Today we're going to be talking about TADA. TADA is a sales process that I've developed that keeps me on focus when I'm in the sales process. Let me give you a brief overview. T-E-D-D-A. First, the T, we establish trust. The E is for the emotional reason someone should change. The first D is for the dollars, making sure they have the dollars. And the second D is for the decision. And finally, the A is for the ask. We make sure that an action step is taken. So those are the letters T-E-D-D-A, exclamation mark, which makes all the difference in the sales process. First, let's talk about trust. When establishing trust, when you first meet somebody, the establishing the trust factor is the most important thing that you can do. And some of you do it naturally. Some people need some steps to make sure that it goes smoothly. To build trust, look at several things. One is the pace of the conversation. And what you want to do is pace the person that you're talking to. If they want you to go faster, you go faster. Another thing, you're going to look at the language that you're going to use. Uh, are you using the same language that they that they understand and they um, believe in? Another way to build trust is to make sure that you're making more deposits into their emotional bank account than you're making withdrawals. So be mindful of that. As you're talking and developing trust, you're also differentiating yourself from all others because most people are not listening to understand. So you're going to be listening very carefully. And the final thing is you're going to be checking in, checking in to make sure that they are following you all along. Do you understand what I'm saying? So uh, check in as often as possible. Once you've established trust, the next thing is to find out if there's an emotional reason for them to change. Now that you've established trust, the next step is to find the emotional reason that they would want to change. And you can do this by asking several questions. And the first one is find out about the past. What have they done in the past? The next thing is what are they doing right now? What do they plan to do in the present? And then you want to go to the future. What do they plan to do in the future? Once having established that, the next step, find out what is the cost? What is this costing them? And you can, cost can be in terms of dollars, but also could be in terms of time, stress, maybe self-esteem. So what is the cost if they keep on going the way they're going? And then the next step is, how do they feel about that? What is it uh, you're looking for the emotional words? Finally, you want to say, is there something I could do to solve this problem for you? These are the steps that I use in finding the emotional reason somebody should change. Now that we've established trust and found the emotional reason somebody wants to change, the next step is to find out what are the dollars they have to spend on to solve this issue. And sometimes I can just simply say, to make this change, it may cost something. And so are you, you know, how much can you afford to spend on fixing this problem. We're also looking at two different aspects. One is, do they see the value in making a change? And also, can they afford it from a dollar standpoint? So those are important questions to ask. And once having that, then you can move on to the next step. Now that you have not only established trust, but You've also found the emotional reason they're going to change and you found out do they have the dollars to spend to make the change. The next step is to discover the decision process and the deciders. Who makes the decision? It could be that they make the decision or it could be that they have an advisor. It could be a spouse. It could be just about anybody is the one that actually makes the decision for them. The second concept is uh, how quickly do they decide? Some people just need a lot of time to make a decision. And so we want to give them the appropriate amount of time. And the third aspect is 
What criteria are they going to use to make that decision? So once having established that, at this point, you're ready to go on to the next step. So at this point, you have established trust, found the emotional reason they want to change, you found out the dollars they have to spend, and who makes that decision and how they make that decision. At this point, you're ready to make a presentation, not until you have those first four. You're now prepared to ask, which is sometimes making a presentation, sometimes it's just it's a, a simple sentence, well, what's next? If you've done the first four properly, it may be all you need to do is just say, what's next? And what happens is then they will say, well, let's get started. It could be that you want to go into more details to show how this is all going to work and what it's going to cost and how the decision can be made. So you summarize and ask. We've been talking about Tada. Tada means establishing trust, finding the emotional reason they want to change, finding out if they have the dollars to spend, and who makes that decision and how they make that decision. And once they haven't had that, then we've gone ahead and asked for them to make a commitment. So Tada is all about having people make commitments. Yeses are great, noes are terrific, because if you get enough no's, you can wipe those away from your slate and you can just focus on the ones that might say yes. So don't be afraid of no's. No's are terrific. When you follow each step, you will find that you will be making great sales, great success. Um, Ta-da! is magical.